All right, what's up, happy people? This is the Jupiter Inlet. This jetty right here is where I grew up as a kid. And today I had this crazy idea. Hey, let's wake up and go out and catch lobsters, come back and do a catch, clean, and cook. Yeah, not such a good idea. I come to the inlet, it's so rough, there's no way me or anyone else is going out this inlet if you're not in a Coast Guard cutter. This inlet is what's called unnavigable, which means there's no channel. It means you just have to figure out the best way and then make it. Now, instead of going out here and catching lobsters on a day that's very treacherous, I'm gonna show you guys a variety of different ways to catch lobsters. Now, some people like to free dive and hold their breath, go down and catch them with their hands. Some people like to use tanks, and go down and catch them with a tickle stick and a net. The moral of the story is it doesn't matter how you catch them as long as you catch them because you can't eat them if you don't catch them. Know what I mean? We're gonna start off down in the Florida Keys where there are so many lobster and it's just so fun because you're in super shallow water. Me and my best bro, Joey Haluska, are gonna go down and catch some lobster. When you're in the Keys, you're always looking for some type of structure. Not huge structure, small structure. Sometimes you'll find like a little coral head and it'll have a crack under it and it'll open up and then the lobsters will be hiding. And sometimes you gotta use your tickle stick, sometimes you gotta use the net, sometimes you just gotta use your hand. But the key is finding them. If you go to huge structure, typically you ain't the only person who knows about it, and they will have already caught the lobster. Now, I wanna ask y'all a question. Everyone on my channel pretty much have seen Joey, Carly, Stacy. Unbelievably awesome family. I love them like family. And I wanna know, what do y'all think? What if I produced a video of the Haluskas showing their crazy life and aired it one night a week on Deer Meat for Dinner? So like, you would come to Deer Meat for Dinner, and one night a week, you'd see Joey, Stacy, Carly. It'd be a video about their life, doing their things on our channel. If you think that's a cool idea, leave a comment below, because I'm all about y'all. And Literally, Joey's like my best friend, and I never get to see him because he's busy, I'm busy, and I know if we're doing videos together, then that would be a real good point for me to make sure I go out and see him at the farm. Now, onto the video. You can also go right out here. Now, it's typically deeper, and when you go, you're not going through the inlet because it's huge waves. You want to go on a nice, calm day. What's going on, man? Yeah, bro. <laughs> What's up, dude? How's it going? We're actually doing a video right now. Oh, my bad. I don't mean to interrupt. No, no worries, bro. Nice talking to you. See you. And um, so that's cool. It's always great coming to your inlet and, and fans saying hello. But on a day when it's not treacherously rough, you could go out here. And if you're marking giant ledges, yeah, there's probably not going to be a lot of lobster there because that's not what lobster look for. Lobster look for just tiny little ledges, little things that they can get under and giant fish cannot get under. And when you do that, a tickle stick in a net is typically the best way to catch them. And then you have the Bahamas. Like the Bahamas, they're like, whatever, just spear them. Pow, pow. Take a Hawaiian sling or a pole spear and you can spear them. In America, over here in Florida, you either gotta catch your hand, catch them with your hands, with a tickle stick or a net, or even with a snare. But I think snares are pretty much useless.
All right, so I like to use a nice, stiff, sharp knife. That's my silver stag play knife. Come in here, cut right up into the head. There's so much meat on this lobster. Tail's gonna come right out. Good, look how huge that tail is. Then, there's tons of meat. Cut right there, turn them over. Cut right here. This should come right out, just like that. Throw out your guts. These, these things are called dead man or the gills. Look at all that, that's all meat. The legs are full of meat, great. You should just take your knife, come down right there. Come right, right there. That knuckle should come out. That knuckle should come out. And this is what we have. Giant tail, all your leg and your cluster meat, your two knuckles, and the, the meat that I got out of the head. Hey! Now let's cook it! Let's do it. What kicks it off? Everglades heat in the Bahamas. Oh yeah, get a couple of fresh tails right out of the cooler. All that meat, no shell. Pull it right out just like that. Then, quickly, we're just gonna cut ourselves a bunch of nice size bites. Oh man, look how nice that is. Fresh lobster tail. I'm gonna season our meat with some Everglades heat. That's it. Our onions are coming down nicely. I'm just gonna put this right in there. Final touch, lemon. Look at that. And I just let that come to life. Probably won't take but about five minutes and that'll be done. That's empty, yeah? Okay. Look at that. Yeah, I know. Alright, let's see what you think about this. Probably. Hey mom, you want to come taste? Fresh lobster, straight out of the ocean. You can't really beat that, you know? Okay. No? What sauce did you do? Everglades heat, uh, lemon juice, and onion. Delicious. Very good. Compliment to the chef. Very good. I got to pick a pair. Oh, it's hot. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're thinking about going out and catching lobsters, be sure you check with FWC or download the Fish Rules app. It will give you all the applicable rules and have fun doing it. There's nothing better than catching your own lobster, cleaning them, and then cooking them. Take care. God bless. We go.